And let us see another question. See here it is distance travelled by Hamid and Akhtar in an hour are 9 km and 12 km. Find the ratio of speed, speed of Hamid to the speed of Akhtar. So here it is given that distance travelled by two persons that is Hamid and Akhtar. So distance travelled by Akhtar in an hour is 9 km and by Hamid, sorry, Hamid 9 km and Akhtar 12 km. So, Hamid 9 km and Akhtar 12 km. We have to find the ratio of the speed of Hamid to the speed of Akhtar. We have to find the ratio of the speed of Hamid to the speed of Akhtar. Whose speed is asked first? Hamid. So, we have to write the speed of Hamid first, then write the speed of Akhtar. Okay. So, here just we have to write the ratio only. So, let us write the ratio of ratio of the speed of speed of Hamid to the speed of That's equal to what is the speed of Hamid? We have to write the speed of Hamid that is 9 km divided by then 9 km and after travel 12 km. So 9 by 12 that is to 9 divided by 12. So both the numbers 9 and 12 are divisible by 3. 3 is common factor in 9 and 12. So let us divide it by 3 and make it into simplest form. That's equal to in 9. How many 3's are there? 3, 3's are 9. 3 divided by. In 12, how many 3's are there? 4, 3's are 12. So the ratio is 3 by 4. So ratio can be written as like this. Ratio is equal to 3 is to 4. 3 is to 4. Okay. Now let, let us do the next question. Fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. 15 by 18 equal to dash by box by 6 equal to 10 by box equal to a box by 30. So, in when we study fractions, we studied the equivalent fractions, right? Equivalent fractions. Here you see all these 15 by 18 and you can see this is also a fraction but numer numerator is not there. Okay. But here equal sign is there. That is the meaning. What is the meaning of it? They are equal. These two fractions are equal. We have to find the numerator. Again, this, these two are equal. These two, not all these fractions are equal. But here, denominator is absent. Denominator is not there. We have to find. Then in this fraction, numerator is not there. We have to find the numerator. But the one thing is that they, all these fractions are equal. Fractions means they are ratios also. When we divide two quantities, we get the ratio. Here, these ratios are same. So, how will you find the equivalent fraction? The same way we have to do here also. Equivalent fraction, we have multiplied the same number in the numerator and denominator, right? The same way in the ratio also we can divide, we can multiply the same number. You see, here it is 15 and the numerator is not there here. 18 is the denominator, but here denominator is 6. So, we study to get the equivalent fraction, we can multiply the same number in the numerator and denominator or divide the same number in the numerator and denominator. Here you see the denominator is 18 and here the denominator is 6, so smaller. 6 is smaller than 18, that means then we have done the division, we divided. So, 18 by which number we get 6? Six? 6 
Trees are 18, right? So we have to divide 18 by 3. Similarly, we have to divide by 3 in the numerator also. Same thing we have to. If we multiply, we have to multiply the same number. Or we divide, the, then we have to divide the same number in the numerator and the denominator, right? Then, let us divide 15 divided by 3. In 15, how many 3's are there? 15, 5 3's are there. So, we got the numerator 5. So, 5 by 6. So, the thing is that 15 divided by 18, this is a ratio that is 15 is to 18 we can write, right? This is equal to, this ratio is equal to this ratio that is 5 by 6, that is 5 is to 6. Again, we have to find 10 divided by 6. Here you see, it is 5 and here we got 10. How did you get 10? That is, they are equal also, equal in fraction. 5 into 2, if we do, we get 10. So, we have to multiply 2 in the numerator. Same thing we have to do in the denominator also. So, we multiply by 2. 6, 2 is 12. So, what is the fraction we got here? 10 by 12. So, again, this ratio is equal to 10 is to 12. Right? Again, we have to find this one. That is here. 10 is the numerator. Here numerator is not there. Here you see denominator 12 and here it is 30. How will you get 30? See here, you can see this one also. Number 6 into 6, 5 is 30. If you do five, multiplication, 6 into, because everything is equal, no? All these fractions are equal. All, all these ratios are equal. So we can multiply 6, 5 is 30. So we have to do here also 5 into 5 is 25. So we get here 25. 25. So this is the answer.